Okay, my challenge today is kind of crazy. I got my email this morning. Uh, the email said that I've got to go raise food or a meal for a family or a person, and I can't use any of my own resources or money. I've got to get it all donated. So I've got uh, a crazy schedule today. I just finished up my schooling. It's about 9.45 right now. So I had to, had to finish up my college. Uh, I've got a one o'clock coaching session, a three o'clock and a four o'clock, and then I'm booked out the rest of the evening. So I've got about an hour before I have to pick up my son. I've got to pick him up at 11. And uh, after that, uh, I've got about two hours to see what I can create. I may have to take uh, my son and my daughter with me because my wife's out doing her own thing. So it's crazy. I don't know how I'm going to get this done, but I'm going to see. I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, I'm gonna get it done. I just don't know how yet. So I'll uh, I'll let you know as we go along. Meters and uh, they've decided to donate some bread today. So we want to thank them for that. Uh, this is my wife's favorite place to eat. Well, we're glad it's her favorite. Um, <laughs> we're here at Meters in uh, West Jordan in Jordan Landing. So if you see this video, we hope you come visit us. So. We're gonna get some bread cut up for this family and help a little bit we can. Cool. They've also donated some uh, some pumpkin bread here, so we're gonna take that as well. The Meters is absolutely the best place to eat. They've got amazing desserts, pies, breads. Helpful staff. My wife and I have a card here. We come here all the time, but this is just an amazing place. Uh, the manager's gonna see if he can hook us up even more. He came into Neaters just asking him to help out a little bit, and it just, they went all out. So, they've got a ton of sandwiches, they've got bread. But you guys are awesome. We're happy to help, so yeah, come will, and see us. This will go a long way, thank you. Thank that you. was amazing. I uh, just went in and asked. Uh, the first place that came to mind for me was to go to Neaters. Uh, it's, it's a place that my wife and I go all the time. So we're just looking at, at Neaters. I walked in and asked the manager and he said, I'm going to make your life easier. And I uh, brought out all those sandwiches and everything else. So I've got a complete meal. I'm going to go see if I can add to it. And then I'm going to go pick up my son and, uh, and head downtown and deliver it, uh, take it down to the homeless. So I think, uh, I think we've got some <laughs> Hey, it's about 10:20 right now. I've got approximately 40 minutes to finish up getting food and then head on to uh, to pick up my son. After which I'll I'll go deliver this food. So we're we're shooting the time. I'm gonna run into Village Inn and see if they'll do anything, and uh, and maybe over to Harmon's grocery store and see if they'll donate anything as well if I have time. We're here at Village Inn in the district. This is up 114th South. There's the address of Bangor Highway in Salt Lake City. You're, you're at Village Inn with the manager. He's, he's uh, agreed to give us some pies for the project and uh, just want to say thank you. We'll, we'll tell people to come down and visit you, give them the address and everything. Sure, we're down here at the district. Come down and see us. Okay. We're always here. Perfect, thank you. All right, let's get a couple pies for you. We think we'll work the best for you today. Okay. Think, uh... A pumpkin and a French silk. That sounds good. So we got serving trays. I'm in this brown expedition right there. Serving trays, pies. Again, I'm just blown away by the generosity of people. Village Inn just gave us a couple pies, two pies, that's uh, that's 12 slices of pie that I can hand out. That's gonna feed quite a few people. Um, you know, this is, this is fun because it's just a real time crunch. I don't have a lot of time to get this done, but it's amazing when you ask for things, you actually, it's amazing to see people step up and, and wanna participate. Uh, so I'm having a lot of fun here. This is, this is a really cool program, real cool project this time. son's works or uh, school so I'm going to pick him up right now and then we're gonna go deliver this downtown uh, downtown Salt Lake 
I've got to stop and get gas. I'm going to stop at one more grocery store to see if they'll donate maybe water, fruits, something like that. And then we're going to head downtown. Here we are driving. We're going to go get gas and then deliver food to the homeless. Marco, are you excited? downtown buddy and, and deliver some food. Ava's crashed. Marco's ready to go and here we go. Okay that works. We're at Reams. They're gonna donate some water and we'll take that down with us today as well. So I'm gonna go grab that. that right there is what this is all about freedom freedom to choose freedom to do what we decide to do okay it's 11 20 I picked up my my son at school I stopped by Reams and uh, I've got a one o'clock coaching session that I've got to be on so I'm running downtown which is about 30 minutes away we're gonna deliver food and then drive back. So it's under, we're under the gun, but we're gonna make it. down at the homeless shelter. I'm gonna start handing out food and we'll just uh, see how many people we can feed today. I'll trust you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Take five minutes, man. Paul. All right. Five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Oh. Can I get Feeding a couple. How you doing? Hi, good. Some water's feeding a couple at least, so that's good. Still got a lot of water left. But... Man, I've had quite a few. It's good. I just finished the uh, the project. Fed a lot of people. I didn't expect that many people to come over, but we had plenty of food, plenty of pie. Uh, we had water, sandwiches, bread. Uh, tons of water. I got four cases of water, so everybody's filled. There, it ended up that there just weren't yep, any more four people big coming. Cases of water. <laughs> we got four big cases of water. My son was a hero out there helping me, but um, I I don't know how we were able to pull it off, but we did it. It's 12 o'clock right now, and uh, I I have a super busy schedule today. I was I was taking Marco to school and and picking him up, and then also uh, doing full time school for myself, and then putting this together. Really, I've got a, a super busy day, um, but I was still able to get it done. So I challenge you, regardless of how busy your day is, make this challenge happen. Just do it. Don't think of how. Just go out and start acting on intuition, and trust your gut to tell you what to do. I had no idea who to visit. I didn't have a plan in mind. I just went out and the first place I thought of, that's where I stopped. Ended up working out real well. So this was, a, this was an awesome challenge. I'm grateful I did it and it feels good to serve others. We're going to go get a Happy Meal now. I'm free. I'm free.